Hi there you, my bidding friends, happy 2022! I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these festive tubular right angle weaves earrings. They are easy to make. This is a popular stitch that I'm showing here and I'll show you how to connect it in a circle. I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you have any questions ask me in the comments if you can't see anything or something bothers you ask me i will answer to all of your questions so if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired two or three times a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and i will be so glad to have you as my viewer you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and you will also see a link to my second channel where I make fast clips and you might like to check them out. So uh, that was all. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads. I use this red and silver color and the silver color are only four beads because I use them to attach my earring findings to my work. But it's not obligatory to use silver, you could use one color let's say only red beads and here I use 10 millimeter silver beads they are really beautiful here I use earring findings this is monofilm and that is 0.006 centers of 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about four feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Hey guys, and now I'm going to start with the tubular right angle weave stitch. I will show it really easy and slowly and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it. Okay, so if you don't know what is right angle weave, these are four beads connected in a cross, okay? So I take four beads, I slide those down, I stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot to make my first cross of four beads okay and I make my knot by make a loop go twice through the loop I've made and pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and it is really secure and after I make it I go through the following bead okay so now this is what I have. This is right angle weave and my whole work, my whole tubular work will consist of these crosses. Okay, so now I have my first cross and I want to make my next cross. But here the special thing is that in my next step I'm taking three beads because I'm going to use this one here from my previous element as my fourth bead. Okay, so now I have again four beads in a cross but I'm adding only two only three because I'm using one of my previous okay I think up to here it's really easy in the first step you will see how it turns into a tubular 3d shape okay so now I'm exiting out of the next seed bit of the first cross that I did here and what I need to do here is to take two beads Okay, first I take four, then three, and now I take two. Why I take two? I want to make a cross of four. Why I take two? Because I'm going through these two beads. I'm using two beads of my previous elements to make a cross of four. These elements share beads. Okay, so now I think up to here everything is clear and is okay. Now I'm going in the third seed bead of the first cross of four that I did or the first right angle weave. And now I'm just going to repeat what I did in my previous step. I'm taking two seed beads and when I go through two, I have four in total and I have my next 
cross of four beats okay so now it's the important step when i turn the beats to the center of my work okay and when i turn them to the center here you see what i have i have one two three beats uh, here sticking out uh, don't look at this at the back which holes i are pointing to the center just look at those three beats and go through one of them okay this is the last fourth seed beat of my first cross of four that i just been through then i'm going through the following and here guess what guys here i'm going to add only one seed beat why one because here i showed you i have three seed beats and then i go through them i add one and what i have is a cross of four again and now i have this uh, cube 3d effect okay i just made a cross here from this side i also have a cross i also have a cross we already said that the bottom is also a cross that is why here at the top of my work i also have a cross and this cross of beads uh, the difference is that it's not connected in a cross yet you see those beads are one by one they are next to each other and need to be connected that is why i'm going in this direction and you see this is the bottom here where my thread is sticking out and this is the top and here the top i'm going to reinforce okay and i reinforce it and now from here on i will repeat the same thing that i showed you in the beginning so i have as a base a cross of four beads you see it now i'm going to take three in my first step and i'm going back through this one here okay and pull then what i do is that i go in my next one just like this and here guys you see at the front i have two seed beads next to each other okay watch only this at the front end okay and i take two and again as i did before i'm going through these two beads and making another cross of four from the second side of my tube this is the first this is the second okay and i'm going in the third seed bead of my bottom cross of four which was the last cross of four of my previous element okay and here i have two one two i will take two seed beads and i'm going back here to this one so i make a cube with absolutely similar sides okay so this is the last side where i have three seed beads next to each other and this is where i want to add only one and when i add this one i finish this next cube i go in this direction and i want to reinforce these four here at the top they are somehow sitting separately not connected by thread between each other okay i hope you see what i'm doing if not just you could look for tubular right angle weave on the net there are a lot of tutorials okay so now i'm going to show it one more time i have a cross of four here taking three and going back here just like that okay here i have two beads and what i need to take here are two seed beads 
and I'm going back in circle through these two like I did before so many times and I pull then from here it is absolutely the same step my second and third step are the same take two go back here like this pull I have a cross of four and here I'm at this side when you where you see I have three beads next to each other don't look at the back beads okay just the front beads okay and I want to go through them at just one C bead and I go back here through those three in the same direction then here because I want to exit at the edge and connect those four beads in a cross okay and from now on guys I will continue doing this you see by the way what I have from each side it's all the same bottom top sides everything is the same okay and I will make 15 rows like this so now I have three I will make 12 more rows and then I'll be back to tell you how to connect this in a circle okay guys and i did 15 rows absolutely the same way if you forgot how i'm doing this just rewind the video and you will see and now i'm going to show you how to connect those into a circle okay i'm exiting out of this seed bit and i just reinforced this part like i did before so many times i'm taking one seed bit i bend my work like this and i'm going through the opposite bit of my previous side okay so now you see here I have one two three and what I need to take is one seed bit and I go back here and then I pull this is what I have now I'm going to connect my next two beads but you see here I already have one two three beads okay I'm exiting out of my next beat and you see here I have one two three beads next to each other and what I need to take is one seed bead and I'm going through the other two don't worry that they are stretched like this almost in a line uh, because when I pull I will make them stay next to each other okay then I go in my next bead here and you see here I already have one two three beads and I will take only one bead to connect them and I'm going just go through the bits that are sticking out the most if you don't see what I'm doing just watch the bits that are on the surface of your work okay and pull and in my next step I don't have anything to add anymore this is the last step I just have those bits that I need to connect together in a cross they are staying next to each other but they are not connected that is why I need to connect them if you have any questions ask me in the comments I will answer to all of your questions down there okay so now guys I'm exiting here and, and what I want to do next is take one of my beaded balls I like those so much and I use them 
in a lot of my tutorials, but unfortunately I can't say where they were bought from because they were a present. Okay, so now I'm exiting through this bit, sliding it down. And I go somewhere here at the opposite side of my work. Okay, go in the opposite side. Okay, then go like this and like this and find again the hole. And then from this side. And by the way, you could do this several times just to be sure. It's all tight and secure. And when you're ready, go here through one of the side bits and it's time to attach my earring finding. And I have here my earring finding. I'm taking just one seed bit, going through my earring finding and then take one, just one more. Okay, like this. And then I will go back through this one. Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to reinforce several times. Okay guys, and then after that I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. Then what I want to do is go through the following seed bit and I could repeat this knot several more times. But when I'm ready, I will take my scissors and I will cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my festive tubular right angle with earrings uh, in a circular motion are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and link to my second channel with the fast clips where you could see a project in just two, three minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not and then go to the longer version. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.